Hello, and welcome back to Skyward Sword HD. Now, I was gonna leave this area, but then I found this by accident. So apparently there's a piece of heart in here. Oh my god, my voice cracked. But yeah, there's a piece of heart right here. Also fairies. And now we have full fairies. I found this by completely accident. I didn't know where to go, so I was just messing around and I found this by accident. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go to the sealed grounds. Okay, so like, seal the grounds to do it. I wasn't too sure where the sealed temple was, but apparently it's this place. Did I really never get that shortcut? Weird. Your sword. There could be no doubt. The sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is to see the same great power now flowing through you and that sword you carry. Come, Link. You must now open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time where the sky would strike, and it will surely awaken. Climb upon this pestle and show the gate of your sword's power. Whoa! Now I fear the seal has given way once again. That terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It's likely that, that monster reacted to sacred power given up by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there was no way to open the gate, so it goes. Lake, you must imprison the beast once again. <laughs> Alright, bring it on. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, that floppy bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. Really, Groose. Oh boy. Oh no. Hey Link. Try to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grusinator. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? It's only natural. You wouldn't believe me how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First I got all this fences cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid down the rails for her to run on. All by myself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make such, something like this, you know? Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll put a hurting in that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are. You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on though. 
That monster showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready to for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold the beast off. Right. I just jump down. There we go again. Whoa, he's got hands now. Uh oh. Look at that. Seems like our ugly friend grew himself a pair of hands. Great timing. I hope he knows how to catch because my machine has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what I need to do to stop it. Okay. What is he doing? Is he about to climb? Oh my god, he's learning. Hey Link, that machine's all loaded and ready to smash. If that flappy psych of Teeves tries to climb the wall, I can blast it off here with a bomb. If he wants a backup from me, just send the signal with X. Alright, it's time for Groose to explode into action. There's the machine's position with left or right, and aim to your target. Once you finish aiming, press ZR. Okay. It hit him, but it didn't knock him down. Okay. I did it. Is it the same as last time? Oops, I hit my desk again. Dude, the gyro controls just they just always desync, dude. That didn't really do anything. Wait, it stalls him. There we go. Uh, he's kind of blocking my path. Can I climb on him? No. Yeah, that's not good. There we go. Dude, he's too fat.
Here we go again. Oh, not again. Not good. What? I hit his butt. It didn't do anything though. God damn it. That's not good. There we go. Unlucky. Oh my god, if I knocked me off, I would be so mad. Dude, I can't hit him. There we go. There we go. Okay. I still have to seal it, right? Mm. Now, Link. Strike the sealing spike with a skyward strike and restore the steel seal quickly. There we go. Hey! Nice work there, Link. Of course, you could have done it without me. What do you think, Ruth? I know I saved your tail. Now let's get to that game time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. Okay. Okay, like surely there's no more like stalling, right? 
everything beyond this point, or rather, ever since the last dungeon, it's completely blind. It seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. You have my thanks, Link. As do you, Bruce. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two haven't, hadn't been here. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, you give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing something, or rather, what I could do to help. I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Link, you must wonder just what it is you've been fighting out there in that great pit. There is much I could tell you, but suffice to say it is the root of evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. You may seal it again and reseal it into its prison a thousands of times, but it will always shatter the bounds that could find it. Such is it is. Such is its awesome power. You must destroy it at its source, or suffer this fate again and again. There's no time to lose. Hit the gate with a sky strike. Come on, already. Charge that sword of yours with that sacred stuff. Granny was talking about. Zap the, ga the gate of time. Right, Granny. Indeed. Now, Link, go. Go to the gate. <laughs> See Tetris blocks. Was that an eye? Kinda looked like an eye. Bunch of cog wheels. Do not fear it. This is what we waited for. At long last, the gate has reactivated. Standing before you is the path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Link. If everything is I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm going to hang back here, Link. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit. And Grandy here keeps yapping on and on about how we never know when it might bust free again. Someone's got to stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me. Yo, character development. Besides, I'm not here. Who's going to look out for that old girl? And you know what? <laughs> nah, forget about it. Okay. When you see Zelda, tell her I said, what's up? Dude, you better not die. I won't be really sad. I swear to god.
Oh no. Okay. I mean, nothing is stopping Gerahim from following us, technically. Temple of Hylia. Hey! At last, I've been expecting you, Link. You are doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away demise. A little time has passed since the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. It's true to its name. You have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions. But for now, you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person that you risk life and blood to defend waits for you. Okay. It's Zelda. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you made it. I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We traveled very far from home to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king, known as Demise, have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about that war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to be t all too real. I think it's time you learn the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both of them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth that she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home to our people. In time, it came to be known as Skyloft. After a long fierce battle, the goddess Hylia succeeded in sealing away Demise. However, soon after the Demon King was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to be free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all the beings for this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hyla devised two separate plans to set them both into motion. First, she created Phi. She made the spear that resides in your sword to serve as a single purpose to assist, assist her chosen hero on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and to tra transfer her soul to the body of a mortal, aka Zelda. She made this sacrifice, as you have likely guessed. That supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by the gods, all of its power can never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the gods gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. You probably figured out by now, haven't you, Link? You are the chosen hero. And I, Zelda, I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. Yep. The day of the ceremony, Gear Hemp's tornado tossed me out of the sky and it down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued by the last moment by an old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. 
I had no memory uh, at all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped me to remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the goddess statues located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited all of them, Empa, an agent of the goddess, led me here to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the arrival of the demise. Or of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. Even in this hidden state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from that seal that imprisons him at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in the time at this time and place to sustain the seal as best as I can. As long as I continue this vigil, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. I must maintain the seal that Hylia, rather, that I created so long ago, and keep it strong for as long as I'm able to. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. Blink. The goddess created Phi, and the great blade she's a part of for very specific reasons. For the task of standing the against demise, and that the monstrous form that he now assumes rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Link. During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom. From solving device, devious puzzles and traps, you gain power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. And by overcoming the trials set before you by the god or by the goddess, you've found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you're worthy of wielding the power that the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage, and for this I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend, and that within you dwells sacred power. It is the mark of the Trice Force. Stand now, Link. Draw your sword. The goddess has blessed your blade, and the master sword has at last achieved its ultimate form. The power is now imbued with a mystical power to drive back demons. Only Link may wield it. Link, before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you could obtain the actual Trice Force, you will have the power to vanquish Demise once and for all. The problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only a select few those with unbreakable spirit can wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the gods, or the old gods created the Trice Force, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created Trice Force, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that may have been their way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of this land. Which brings us back to you. To the face demise and give land hope. The goddess Hylia needed someone with unbreakable spirit, and that someone is you, Link. The spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so you could wield that supreme power. And so Hylia, I mean, and so I, knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger, without even a moment's doubt. I... I used you. 
It doesn't matter. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all of this, Link. But you have to understand this is a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need the strength to tip the scales in our favor. All that may be intentioned, or well-intentioned, and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. I am prepared to face the price for what I've done. To ensure that the seal holds, I will remain here in time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. Oh no. <laughs> Blink, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. But until my memories of things before our lifetimes returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you and Skyla. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> so this was goodbye then. <laughs> While it's true that I am Hylia's reborn, I am still my father's daughter. And your friend. I am still your Zelda. When Demise is finally gone, there will be no need for the seal that binds him. Then I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'd always be the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when all of this is over, will you come to wake me up? I promise. Oh no. Oh no, he's sad. All right. He's got to beat Demise. And we save her. God damn. Now what do I do? I see you said goodbye. I must keep the promise you made to her. You must find the Triforce. Return to your time. There is work to be done there. Do not fear for Zelda. I will watch over her here. Go now. Fulfill your destiny. Okay. Again. Nothing is stopping Girahem from following us. Love your return. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. Trace of legend, the Triforce is the one thing that will bring or with the power to vanquish Demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, that is all we know where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to it the ages. Blink, you have likely come to the same conclusion, but I will spell it out all just the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Mm. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. Ew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa there. Hold up. Link, there's something I gotta tell you. <laughs> so Zelda, how is she holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? She's great. She was? Oh, good to hear. But she's still stuck there till this whole mess blows over, huh? <laughs> Link, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. Oh, I don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it, but I got this feeling in my belly that there's work to be to do here. Someone's <laughs> gotta watch that big ugly monster. 
and someone's gotta make sure Granny's doing all right. Ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess. But don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? That's not weird to say. Check it out. Tell and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest of saplings could grow into a beast of a tree in a soil like this. It did brighten this place up a little too. I mean sure, it'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I've got nothing but time. It's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So yeah, you know, when you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let the others know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stretch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm happy, okay? Thanks, Link. Jesus Christ. It's all these old depressing. Alright. Guess I'll go to Skyloft? go first. Let me check the plaza first, I guess. Okay, no new dialogue so far. Alright, let's check this. I haven't seen the fortune teller much these days. I do twist the ball got broken, right? I just hope he's not sitting at home kicking himself for not foreseeing this. Do you mind running over and checking it on him? Eastern edge of Skyloft. Oh boy. No new shield, nothing. Right. Hey. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can upgrade my shield. Nope. Bird feathers. I don't know where to get these. Oh well, it's fine. Go to the school, I guess. Okay. I do not see them. <laughs> oh no. He's still saying the same text. Okay hey then. I assume I have to talk to the headmaster.
There you are. Hey. Ah, hello, Link. Have you heard anything about my daughter? What is it? If you don't think at all, I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me, but you can't? Hmm, I understand. I'm sure you have a good reason for keeping quiet. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You've had this destiny thrust upon you without warning or choice, for that matter, but I wish to help you as best I can. I'm getting older and I like the vigor of youth, but even old men have ways of being useful too. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any question, any question at all about Skyloft or its history, I will be glad to tell you what I know. Actually, what do I know of the Triforce? Link, where did you hear that word? It's true that ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce within your pages. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't illuminated in any of those tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Sorry, Link. It's shame to you to say it, but my knowledge is a little use on this subject. Are you serious? Hey. Link, just a moment. Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you are familiar with Lavias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Lavias has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of the world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anybody, anyone in the entire Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Where is he? Yes, I fear that might be your next question. About that. I imagine in your travels you have taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that slowly appeared in our skies. Recently I've heard rumors suggesting that Levius is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked Instructor Olwen to look into the troubling cloud in order to determine if it if there is any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about this finding earlier, but I completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Instructor Olwen can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. Okay. Olwen, right here. Ah, hey, Link. How goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Lavius? Ah, so you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Lavius is one, the one inside of the little Thunderhead. That's not the Lavius that we all know. That's a monster. He certainly looks like Lavius, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me. His eyes, they were full of malice. People change, or old. Why then? Creatures change. Rather, perhaps it's more that he is possessed by something. That's how I felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levius? That's impossible. I don't think Levius is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. And if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it would likely end with you getting br brushed aside and sent flying to your death in the sea of clouds. What? You're still planning on going? I see, because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling that nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Hey. Levis is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. If he could somehow free him from whatever it is that has a hold over him, then there's a chance he will return to his senses. Listen well, Link because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Using the Spiral Charge, you can get rid of Levius the Blight that it has hold of him. The technique is quite easy to perform, all you have to do is press X. However, the acceleration effect lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far, so maintaining stable flight can be tricky. This is a technique that only senior Knight Academy students who have mastered high level flight skills are allowed to perform. It's still a bit early f for you, but this is an extraordinary circumstance, so I'll make the exception this time. However, I will test you. First, dive off this platform and call your bird. 
Okay. Oh boy, there's been a lot of dialogue. Let's hit up, Link. I taught your left Link to perform a spiral charge when you press X. Use the spiral charge attack to break the 10 targets placed around the floating boulders up ahead. If you can destroy 10 targets under 120 seconds, I will recognize you as a skilled bird rider. Alright, off you go. I missed that one. Alright, two more. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, managed to destroy 10 targets within the time limit. If you control your bird that well, you'll have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link. But what am I said? Deficit red bird. You're henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a qualified bird rider. The next thing we have to address is just how you get going about fighting Levius. Maybe the owner of the lumpy pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup for Levius. Go to lumpy pumpkin and ask him what he knows. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Oh look, you chandelier. It'd be a big shame if it just randomly broke. What's the matter? You look like you've got something mighty serious on your mind. Actually... Levius? What about him? Sure, I know Levius well, but I wasn't aware that anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin of my full of my pumpkin soup. But lately, a huge thunderhead has been brewing there. I haven't yet made this year's offering, I tell you. I feel horrible about it. No. You say you deliver the pot of my soup to Levius? Huh? I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but... If that's the case, I'm going to do everything I can to make Levius the best batch of soup ever. You wait right here. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup I like I've never souped before. Alright. <laughs> Voila, here it is. I've been cooking this stuff for, well, over 10 years. I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I have ever created. Master, I will signal for the robot. Okay. Miss Fi, I'm here. First. Oh, this is another heavy load. But don't worry, I can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. Okay. The place where I offer soup to Levius is inside the Thunderhead Cloud, on an island with an everlasting rainbow. You know it when you see it. Good luck. That doesn't really help me. Wait, is there a healing thing somewhere here? Let me heal.
There we go. Alright. I think I'll end it here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.